Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the opener of a three game series between the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the Somerset Patriots. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Welcome, your Somerset Patriots. Brian Roy. A right-hander from the state of Maryland is on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, it's hard. Next to dig in, James Moya. Hey, let's turn it. Where's that two now? Oh, and two, here it is. On the ground is short. This could be two. He's got it to second for one. On to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Marcel Deal, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Deal. The set and the two and one pitch. And he's going to deliver the run here as this is a shot into left center field for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's 7 0. Man, they hit great. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Mike Carson trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. And guys, you take a look at our visitors here with the early lead tonight as we play the bottom of the first. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, for me, I'm, I'm going to go off script here. I think one of the keys to winning this game, I get it. The pitcher has to throw strikes, the offense has to show up. But I need more energy, more focus. I need guys flying around. I need guys looking like they want to win a ball game. Carson is a guy that thrives in these opposite handed matchups. He's often considered one of the absolute best hitters in the game against right handed pitching. Yeah because he's thinking big part of the field. He's not a dead pull guy. This is a guy that likes to use gap to gap. And when that's happening you stay on anything fading away from you. Line drive to left in there a base hit. Get the ball for this man. He needs to put that on the mantle. He's been struggling. The season hasn't gone according to plan, but he's staying pot committed and grinded out a nice knock. Wiley. Set to get his evening at the plate started. James Willie trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Comes set with the 0 and 1. A bouncer to the left side. And indeed he'll not even try as he goes to first and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Up next Ryan Ripken. Batting fifth. The first baseman. Ryan. Here comes the one two. Ripken. Hit in the air to right field. Deal is there and he puts this one away for the third out so a great job there of working out a potential. Deal. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Marcel Deal. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. One there. On to first and they get the double play. Striding in is Mike Carson. He singled first time up. Yeah guys everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan you can certainly attest to this only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Pruitt finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. So they're held in check here this half. So next to hit is Mike Carson flew out last time up from the stretch swung on and missed for the first strike. Hey it's a game of execution if the pitcher stays right there this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. Swing and a flare down the line and that's in there base hit. Boy not the prettiest of swings d -Row. that looked a little bit from the Vladimir Guerrero book but nonetheless he got the job done. Yeah a little choke and poke right there. He flipped a bat out there and was able to find a little empty green grass. Not pretty but he'll take it. 
To the plate now is the designated hitter, James Willie. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and a borderline call, Matty. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this A.B., see how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. Into the box, Ryan Ripken. 0 now for 1 for him First here in this one. Ryan. Oh here comes the one two swing and he pops him up and this should get him out of it Moya has a play and he makes the play to end the inning Damn. so now to the plate Mike Carson singled in his last at bat ready to deal here comes the first pitch From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Curveball fooled Ooh. him there as he's way out in front. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and then get right back outside. Nice pitch. Count even at 2 and 2. Wait for a good one. Try the kid. Into the windup and the pitch. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermeyer is right there, one down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Brian Mundell. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Hit on the ground out to short, reined in. And there are two away now. So the next to bat will be Mike Carson. He flew out in his last A.B. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on a ball in his eyes. One strike. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0-2 now. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up he was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. In the dirt here. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making... A 9-2 finish at the end of this contest. Binghamton jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Darren Sanchez earns win number seven on the season. Brian Roy allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa. Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vasquez. The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Binghamton Rumble Ponies and the Somerset Patriots. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Charles Correa will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? <laughs> hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Mike Carson tried to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Now here it comes. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Guys, yeah, you take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1 0 lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on the tack, early offensive, almost ambush like approaches to their at bats, and it's working for them. His offense gave him an early lead, and he is. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Now to the plate. Here is Colt Hester. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here it comes on nothing and two. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, beautiful dive to first. Hey now. 
Man, what a play right there. I love that athleticism. Giving up your body for the team. Gets dirty, gets up, and shows off a rocket arm. Digging in, the switch hitter, Thomas Aponte, flew out last time up. Aponte. The one two. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. To second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. First Leading off the inning, it'll be Mike Carson as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Offense needs to get going right here. You want to try and tighten up this game a little bit before it starts to get into that territory where you're going to start seeing the back end of each bullpen. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing and one. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Fouled off. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all Oof. his pitches. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Boy, this guy has Good's really there. good. Digging in next, Mike Carson, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. Fouled away. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here, 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw <coughs> strikes like he is, Dear. he's going to have a pretty good night. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Mike Carson becomes out number two this inning. Next to hit, Mike Carson. Two away here in the eighth, now and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left. A 6 nothing shutout to finish off tonight's game. Binghamton jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Marcus mm. Solbach earns the win his second, striking out 12 in the process. Joe Zangi takes the rare three inning save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. For the Patriots, no runs, six hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of. Supposed to say in the chat. Open your chat box. DH just came in. Pitching is coming. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Somerset Patriots and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. The Rumble Ponies have now won five now, consecutive no, games. They'll aim to continue their winning streak next. Rumble Ponies. Garrett Whitlock will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. Yeah. 
set to get his evening at the plate started. Mike Carson trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0 and 2. Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive. Another 0 2 home. Swing and a miss on the change. Up there, two <laughs> gone. That strikeout was all about setting the hitter up with hard stuff. You can see the first three pitches are coming in fast and then he slows it down on the fourth pitch knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Get him. Stepping in now, Mike Carson. He swings and it's a line drive to left center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. A lot of smiles to go around on the offensive side, first time through the order. That's already their sixth hit today as a team. Late now is Michael Beltre, one for one with a single so far. Michael Beltre. Hit on the ground out to short. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Hey, looks like they might have something brewing right here. That's back to back base runners after a few runs were scored in the inning before, too. Yeah, Dan, I have to imagine your team throws Not up yet. a crooked Not number. Yet. You want to go out there and throw a donut you know. up. But they are door. putting some guys on base. This could get interesting. Open, open that door. I think she so might want next out. to bat will be Ryan Ripken looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Next to stand in is Sam Brown. He doubled his last time up. Carson at second. Beltre at first one gone. Pickoff play at second, and he'll dive back in. Three and oh now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Set to deliver on 3-0. And he misses with that one. Ball four. And that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. And now here is Pierre Gonzalez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Bases are loaded here. One man out. A bullet to first base. So here is J.J. McNamara. He singled in his first A.B. Ground ball right side. Oh, what a stop on the slide. What a play. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and they leave Damn the bases loaded. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And Binghamton is out in front, five to two. Next, here is Mike Carson, runner in scoring position with two guns. Carson. 
He's set and the pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Good job there to jump ahead with the fastball. If he's going to get back on track out there, the fastball is what he's going to start to need locating first and foremost. Then he can work his other pitches off of that. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest. One and one. Both teams with eight hits in this one. And it's one and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. High in the air out to center field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. One hit, one left. Fuck. And stepping in, Mike Carson. And their runners at the corners now. <clears throat> Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. A pause and the 0-2. Breaking ball and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And a good throw is in time and they escape the jam. And now in the box, Mike Carson struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. Here we go, baby. Find a good pitch. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. To two balls and two strikes now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Soft liner towards center and a base hit. So the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Boy, D roll that ball wasn't hit very hard, but when you're struggling like this guy is, any knock is a good knock. Yeah, 100%. He doesn't usually get those. He has to square it up mid barrel to find a way to get a knock. He hasn't had much luck this year, but he'll take that any day. So now here is Michael Beltre. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. The 1 2. I got to count 2 and 2. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Carson gets his lead at first, nobody out. Swinging a soft liner, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. Next up is Ryan Ripken. The first baseman, number 22, Ryan Ripken. Here you go, left fly. Right guy, right spot. Come on now, kid. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Deal is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now it'll be Sam Brown, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And he takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them, and that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Shatters the bat as this is hit to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. The Binghamton Rumble Ponies took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Garrett Whitlock earns his fifth winner of the year.
Todd Eames worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. The show's continuing coverage of Double A Northeast League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Somerset Patriots and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. The Rumble Ponies look for their seventh straight victory next. Rumble Ponies. Rich Ortiz is on the mound for game two. Thank you. What's your take on him, Dan? Thank well, Matty, if you're looking for innings out of your starting pitcher, you're looking at the right guy. This guy seems to deliver more often than not going deep into the games. He's one of those guys you feel really confident that could go into that seventh, eighth, and even the ninth inning. A workhorse. Fellas are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half. They've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. And it's fouled away. The 2 1 home. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. John Newcomb is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. On to first to complete the double play. Striding forward now is the D.H. Tom Pruitt. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. A ball that's carrying. And he's able to get there on the long run. And he covered a lot of ground there as the side is retired. We've played an inning. Still nothing, nothing. Three. Now to the plate, Ted Strange. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Pitch on the way. A ball of no strikes. That is fouled away. One ball and one strike. Hey, nobody out. Nobody out. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ball, that's out. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. He'll throw down to first, one away. Link. Now with the plate is Freddie Link. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead with a screwball that's in there for strike one. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. Throw on to first, two gone. Three. Stepping in next, Ken Reed. Now here's the first offering. And a screwball is off the plate away for ball one. A ball and a strike. High in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here comes the one two. That's a ball. Bottom of the second here with no score. Into the corner and slicing foul. Ready with another 2 2. Hard hit to first. And he whiffs on it as this ball's right under his glove.
Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. Fouled off. He did not play last Kiermaier. night but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. The 0 1 on its way. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Has a look. Now the pitch. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty. Two and two. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We play two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. <laughs> Now into the box, James Moya is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Here it comes. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. One and one the count. One and two now as that one's fouled off. This one's down to third. And there's one down now. Gonzalez. Ready now is Elvis Gonzalez. First pitch on its way. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. The pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate and he didn't miss it. Into the box now Marcel deal as he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle it's 0 and 1 second trip to the plate for him he drew a leadoff walk in the home first and he lays off for ball one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here now the 2 2. Shot down the first baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. A swing and a ground ball to third. There's one on to first, and for the second time in three innings, they've bounced into a double play, and with this one, the side is retired. That's how you roll it. Five to four to three. A double play sends us to break. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Leading off the inning, it'll be John Newcomb, and they could use a spark from him here. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. The 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. Oh, got him. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Now the 2 1 pitch. Fouled away. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Quinones is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Next, it'll be Tom Pruitt. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Designated hitter. 
Swing and a liner. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ted Strange, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. And oh, not so fast, partner. A called strike on the inside part of the plate. 3 and 1 now. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike 2. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. And this one misses high for ball 4 and they have themselves a two out base runner. Hit out towards second, reined in. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Patriots are out on top, one to nothing. Three. Now at the plate, here is Ken Reed. He singled first time up. Pitch on the way. There's the sinker to start him out, missing down and away for ball one. Hey, you got no one. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. A 1 1. Center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Now batting center fielder Kevin. Kiermeier. First pitch of the AB now. Bases are empty, one man out. Soft liner to the left side. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now to bat, James Moya, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Second baseman, Moya. Here's the first pitch to him. The 0 1 pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a <clears throat> look a not the uh, 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 ace. Come on, you want to go up there? Come on, come on, then. come on. I got you. There you go. There you go, baby. <clears throat> Good pitch to hit are way worse. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. Their count now at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Next to hit is Elvis Gonzalez, and we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk. Always considered a big no-no, of course. No balls in one strike. 
Hit on the ground toward the left. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Patriots lead it. One. So stepping in is Marcel Deal. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, he might have something. One and one the count now. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another try at 2-2. Great A.B. up to this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Dutzman corrals it. The throw to first is in time. One down. Stepping up is John Newcomb. He flew out in his last A.B. First delivery to him. One out. Nobody on. Now here's a shot out toward the gap in right center. Around first, he's digging for second. Arms pumping, he's hustling for third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Well, we've been waiting for an opportunity like this since the game started. One out, and our first no run no is 90 no feet away. The no challenge no now no is to get him home. Tom Pruitt stands in as he looks at ball one here. And he watches one miss outside. 2-0 and now. 3-0 and now. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, the next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. So now it'll be... Damn it. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Joe Zangi earns his third win of the year in relief. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Final line score: First for the victorious Binghamton Rumble Party, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the Patriots, two runs on eight hits, no errors. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Today, the finale like to of this three-game weekend series between the Somerset Patriots and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. The Rumble Ponies are looking to collect their eighth win in a row. Next. Darren Sanchez gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high-scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub-3, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Strike one to start the at-bat. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
changes up on him there, but it's one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Here comes the one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So a fairly painless top of the first. New inning set to get underway and striding forward the designated hitter Mike Carson. I'm interested to see how focused their A.B.s will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bats nice. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. Next, it'll be George Quinones. Just one for 10 in the series coming in, so he'll look for better results here today. One there, on to first, a double play. And now, Mike Carson. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Now here it comes. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Just tied him up with that last. Digging in will be Mike Carson. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Grounded up the first baseline. But a foul ball here. 0 and 1. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make a swing and a miss. That retires the side and that will do it. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Binghamton leads it 11 to 3. Wow that's eight wins in a row and it seems like they can't do anything wrong. Yeah, when you're riding a streak crushing. like this. Oh, those guys, they're crushing. They're fucking crushing. Found it. Charla, you have to come back with Choking, so I don't really know. 
actually, just reset. Just reset, because I'll... This is what I'll do. And I'll drive it. As I got 400... I got 48.1 Alright. Where are you? If a pitcher isn't finding the strike zone enough, he can be sure he'll hear about it from the coaching staff. A coach draws a player's attention to a recent trend in his numbers. <laughs> Time for minor league baseball here on the show as we set our sights on the double A Northeast League. Tonight, the opener of a three game series between the Somerset Patriots and the Akron Rubber Ducks. Somerset attempt to end a six game losing streak. Next. Raymond Langley gets the call for game one of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, one of the strengths of this guy is handling right-handed hitters. Right-handers. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Mike Carson tried to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. First pitch on its way. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Fellas are home nine as they begin play here this evening. They come into this one fresh off a victory last time out that ended a six game losing streak. Yeah, Matty. Well, the left fielder's on it and that retires the side. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Top of the third set to get underway. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Mike Carson. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Here now the 2-2. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Anderson retreats to the outfield grass, and he has it for route number one. 
Now back to the top of the lineup, yes. stepping in, oh, Ricky Anderson grounded out in his last at bat. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. And he reaches up and tomahawks this to short. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors in one man. Next up, Mike Carson. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. He's set, here it comes. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. On, I wonder if he's going to pull the old flea sack and climb the ladder. I'm in the truck. Looking to minimize the damage here. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. The 1 1 home. Here's a little chopper up the middle, reined in. Off balance throw, gets you. Nice play there as the side is retired. So one run here on two. Seventh inning ready to roll, and stepping up as the shortstop, Mike Carson. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Yes, you left. Goodness, 0 oh 2 now. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when his pitcher's missing like he is. Late on that one is it's foul off to the left side. The next 0 2 is taken for ball one. Wait, I don't want to. Wait a minute. Softly hit toward the hole. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. And that'll bring in the multi dimensional Lewis Brinson, trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Liner in there for a base hit. And this throw gets away from him. And the second runner will pull up stakes over at third. So one run is in, and the bases stay loaded with two. So now into the box is Alberto Casto. Flew out last time up. Drilled on the ground to short. He's got it. And that's the second out. Now at the plate, Mike Carson will be charged with trying to get on board, leading off the ninth. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. And it's fouled away. No, no, don't. No. The one two. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And the throw is there to record the first down. Hey, it took him an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. And it's a 4 3 finish in this evening's ball game. Jake Newberry gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Time of the ball game three hours and two minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Somerset Patriots and the Akron Rubber Ducks. And it's now, baseball on the go. show, and it's coming up next. Akron Rubber Ducks. Juan Hillman, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a really solid season, and what shows me that more than anything, solid three to one strikeout to walk ratio. And if he continues to do that, he'll pitch really well in this one. 
Set to get his evening at the plate started. Mike Carson tried to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Before the first pitch, a check at first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. And now the first pitch. Espinoza, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in there. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Mateo is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Stepping in once again is Mike Carson. He flew out in his last AB. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. And there's out number two. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the switch hitting second baseman, Aaron Braccio. Ground ball left side. Fielded cleanly. And he's retired one away. Next to dig in, Mike Carson. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Espinoza on it first, nobody out. Oh, pretty healthy hack that time. It's one and one. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Well, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six inches. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. Up next, Ryan Ripken. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Ryan Ripken. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. So next to hit is Michael Beltre struck out in his last trip to the plate. The 0 2 delivery and a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. Well his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him and watching this at bat it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was you can tell these things and exploit them. Here's the 0 2 got him swinging and that will end the inning so it's no runs on two hits no errors and two men left stranded bottom of the inning now and next to bat will be the outfielder Eduardo Manuel popped up Gonzalez is there for it and that's the first out of the inning. <laughs> Striding in is Felix Ramirez. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Hit on the ground is short. He's got it. And there are two away now. So now to the plate, Mike Carson. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Oof, looks like he's chasing butterflies with that swing. It's 0-1. Ooh, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. Ah, and he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0-2. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he could take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ryan Ripken. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a liner. But sadly for him this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Into the box Michael Beltre he went down on strikes last time up. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And a wide throw, but a great job there to keep his foot on the bag, and that fine play will end the inning. So they pick up no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead, and we are tied 2-2. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Akron came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. David Ting gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com. For the Patriots, two runs, seven hits. The show's continuing coverage of double-A Northeast League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the rubber match of this three-game series between the Somerset Patriots and the Akron Rubber Ducks. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. Akron Rubber Ducks. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Mike Carson trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Hey now. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. Oh, they come in fresh off a victory last time out, but they've had a rough That's go of it of late as they've lost seven of their last nine games. Maddie, we've seen some good baseball in the first two games that is set and expect another close one here. Both of the first two games decided by one run. You know, D-Roll, when you get in these series like this, when there's, one run means so nothing. much, you like to be there's able to be the team to score first, but both these games have been very close, and it's going to boil down to who gets the big hits in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. The 2-1. Here's a fly ball well hit. Going back is the right fielder. A leap at the wall, but forget it. It's gone. A home run. Yes. When this one left the bat, I thought it was going to be an easy out to right. But it just kept carrying and carrying. And the right fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back. But no dice. Carson. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Mike Carson. Off to a fine start in this one after launching a homer his first time up. Tried to golf at it, but he missed strike one. Hey, what a great pitch right there in a big situation to pull the string on that changeup. He knew that hitter was going to be super aggressive. Behind 0 and 2 now. Working for the punch out and the offering. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up most. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit. Next will be the designated hitter, Mike Carson, who comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. Looking up is the left fielder, and this one is gone, a home run. 
Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time. Mike Carson to the plate again and looking for home run number three in the ball game. His second coming back in the fifth. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. Ting is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher coming oh, yeah. with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the out. So the next to bat will be Mike Carson. He's gone deep twice in the game, making him two for four. Now a slider well off the plate, an easy take there. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Swung on and missed. One and one. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming in, but a different story once it got near the plate. Ball taken there. Two and one now. All even now. Two and two. Seaver on second, Espinoza on at first with two down. On the ground to the right side, scooped up, and the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. A couple of walks. A 5 0 finish tonight. The Patriots jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Todd Eames takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. First for the victorious Patriots, five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Rubber Ducks, no runs. Eight hits, one error, oh, and 13 see. runners left on base. So, so I can get back to building too. Oh my god, I'm going to I'm going to leave this game. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show tonight. The first of this three game weekend series between the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Somerset Patriots. We've got baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Mike Carson will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, in this day and age where we're all into numbers and statistics, look at this whip, 1.10 or less. He has a sub 1.1. That's not an easy thing to do, especially in today's game where we see teams scoring a lot of runs. He doesn't walk very many guys, and he doesn't give up that many hits either. This is a real good pitcher and should be fun to watch pitch in this one. Alberto Casto is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1 and 0. Fellas, you take a look at our home standing ball club as they come into this one tonight. Oh, they come in fresh off a victory last time out, but they've had a rough go of it of late as they've lost seven of their last nine games. Yeah, Maddie, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game, they scored a bunch of runs, and let's see if they continue that today. The count now at 2 and 1. Two and two now. 
right on the corner. Eight. Two A Got swing him. and a miss on the fastball, then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is mm. going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Ramirez. At the plate now, Felix Ramirez. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. Heinrich. Now to the plate. Here is Darnell Heinrich. And he has been, pardon the cliche, in Fuego of late. Seen that average shoot up quite a bit over the past eight ball games. Right on fire. First pitch on its way. One hmm. ball. Two out, nobody on. Off the corner with the splitter, it's 2-0. and It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging hmm. at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole Andrew monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. At the plate, Ricky Anderson, 0 and 1 the count. Try not to look like bargain in this game. Fouled off. Okay, I'll let you call. Okay. Oh, you have to get up here. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Mendoza. Second inning set to go, and next to hit is the catcher, Israel Mendoza. Now the pitch. No ball. One strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. No, that's the ball. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and the leadoff man set down to start the second. Next to hit, Oswaldo Saucedo, and he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. Ready to deal, here comes the first pitch. Not even close on that swing, no balls and a strike. As this game progresses, I don't think he's gonna wanna miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1 one, one is in there for the second strike. Fouled away. Oh, the old classic two-strike, let's throw the fastball right down the middle. Not in this game. Got to believe you got to work the corners a little bit more. Fastball command is paramount at this level. And this one will bounce into the wall. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Into the box, Jordan Mateo, as he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Dickens is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. At the plate now is Julio Rodriguez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Saucedo leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. 
And he misses with it one and one. Rip down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The 2 2 one more time. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. Reined in. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. And now here is Julian Whitman. Pitch on the way. Late that time for a strike. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. And he fouls this one off. So. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Ring him up on the screwball, and that's the first down of the inning. Be in so the batting order turns over now and set to go. Alberto Castro, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. Third inning, no score to this point. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back but he does so too late it's strike one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. The pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Okay. Um, so, are we... So now to the plate, Felix Ramirez has the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. And he missed with it. It's 1 and 2. Or. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. This is skied out toward right. Beltre will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are tied nothing nothing. Heinrich. Leading off the inning, it'll be Darnell Heinrich as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. High in the air out to center field. Dickens is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. So next to bat will be Israel Mendoza grounded out in his last at bat. There's a strike at the knees 0 and 1. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Dickens will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that ends the inning. 
So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Trenton leads this one one to nothing. Leading off the inning, it'll be Oswaldo Saucedo, and they could use a spark from him here. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. No balls and a strike to count. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top. But he was able to lay off it. Here now the 2 2. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next to stand in is Jordan Mateo, flew out last time up. First pitch on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. Hard hit ball to second. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Okay. Stepping in now, Julio Rodriguez. And he puts it on the ground to second. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Thunder are on top, two to nothing. Whitman. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the outfielder, Julian Whitman. Plays at one here. First pitch on its way. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Just missing here, 2 0. Oh. He may be down 2 0 oh after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. The 2 1. Two balls and two strikes now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Hmm. Okay. To the plate now, Alberto Casto. Hot shot on the ground is short, and he whiffs on it as this ball's right under his glove. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. Yeah, and I think this is the case of a guy trying to rush it, hoping to turn a double play. And instead of getting two outs, they get zero outs, and runners are on first and second. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. And it's one and one. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Runners are at first and third with none out. Liner towards second. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. Mm. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. It's now a two to one ball game. In now, Darnell Heinrich. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And oh, he thought that was ball four, but it's called a strike. Three and one now. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. 
I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Dickens is there and he has it for the first down. Arthur. Now out of the dugout comes the manager as he'll make his way towards the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here so it would appear. Well that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting. But it was the only run he gave up and he hangs on to collect the save. Eight to six the final score tonight. The Rubber Ducks wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Daniel Camarena earns his eighth victory of the season. Juan Chavez wraps it up for the save his 28th on the season. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From our partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa I'm Matt Vaskersian. This is been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, game two of this three game weekend series between the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Somerset Patriots. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Brian Roy will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy has a four pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft, you can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. And a bouncing ball foul. Oh. Pitch out, Ball. nothing doing. Oh, Espinoza leads off first with one away. On they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner. <laughs> So here is Mike Carson. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Still a big bagel in that hit column. And this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Next, here is Mike Carson, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Swing and a miss on a ball out of the zone. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. And this one's in the dirt. Here's the 0 2, and he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Two out double left stranded. Back with more on this fine Saturday night following this. And stepping in, Mike Carson. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Hey, this guy hasn't reached the big leagues yet, but he's coming. You're going to know his name at some point. He just got a few more developmental things to work on. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first in time, one away. And now in the box, Mike Carson. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Now the first pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. One ball, one strike to count. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game. And it is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together 
throw on to first and the ball game is over. And this one concludes at a 10 to 7 score. Akron came through late taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Tyler Ridgeway earns the victory in relief in this one his seventh of the year. Time for minor league baseball here on the show as we. Digging in next, Brian Tran. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Hit back toward the mound, scooped up, and that's the second out. Okay. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Mike Carson trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. And guys, you take a look at here with the early lead tonight as we play the bottom of the first four and two over the last six hit high and deep to straight away right field gone into the home bullpen for a home run a solo shot here to straight away right field eighth home run on the season for him as they cut the lead in half it's 2 1 now there's an old saying in the game they say solo homers won't kill you this might be a good time for a mound visit right here trying to erase those negative thoughts and get right back in the zone you still have the lead so the lineup flips over and digging in Ricky Anderson as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box been a struggle for him hitting from this side and as a switch hitter you really hope for some more consistency from both sides of the plate but that just hasn't been the case for him batting lefty against these good right hand and that'll bring in the multi dimensional Lewis Brinson they've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. That grounder was hard hit. Bottom of the third now, and stepping up is the shortstop, Mike Parson. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. And boy was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0 and 2 now. Carson is a guy that thrives in these opposite handed matchups. He's often considered one of the absolute best hitters in the game against right handed pitching. Yeah because he's thinking big part of the field. He's not a dead pole guy. This is a guy that likes to use gap to gap. And when that's happening you stay on anything fading away from you. And a change up swung on and missed for the first out. Oh man he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strike. Next up is Mike Carson struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah but it was a good change up Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. One and one the count. I ties him up with a fastball inside one and two. I mean you look in the dugout right now you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get knocked. Even count two balls and two strikes. Hit in the air down the left field line. He's under it and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. Five innings complete. The rubber ducks lead it nine to one. So now here is Mike Carson. He flew out in his last A.B. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. Hey, I love the aggressiveness right here and wanting to be a hero. But this is where you got to tell yourself to relax a little bit. I had no pitch is way outside and that's straight to the backstop. Good job to get to that quickly though and the count even at one. Here it comes on one and one. Line drive base hit. One run is scored. And he's safe. 
Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Row. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run batted in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup. And that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bond, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. Brown over at second. Carson is over at first with one away. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Now it'll be Ryan Ripken. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Ryan Ripken becomes out number two this inning. Navarro. Now to the plate, Pablo Navarro. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. We can't hear it from here, obviously, but I think someone in the dugout just yelled, wear it, because that could have been a run. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much. Stepping in next, Brian Tran. The first base, Brian. A 1 2. Hard hit ball towards the hole. Again, a nice clean base hit, his third of the game. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible. Now into the box, Mike Carson. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Oh and one count and the pitch a swinging strike and now it's 0 and two with the way this guy's throwing on the mound you cannot be chasing you have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone swinging a ball hit on the ground. Here comes another 0 2. One out, nobody on. Ball two. Here we go now. One at a time. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Good job of getting him to chase the ball in the dirt right there. Hey, also credit the catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. Yeah. 